are the trash. We are the Falcons. We are the ones who like to blow our lead every damn year. There's a choice that we have to watch this bum-ass team. We're going to cry every day, just you and me. We are the trash. Sing it. We are the Falcons. We are the ones who like to watch our team blow our fucking lead. There's a choice that we have to watch this bum-ass team. We are going to cry all day, just you and me. One question. You know, anyone who's here can answer this question for me. Um, why would you throw the ball? Why? What was the purpose of throwing the ball? What are you doing? Arthur Smith, why would you call that? Mariota, why would you do that? What is going on? Are, are we back to the days of Dan Quinn? Are, are we going back? Are we reversing? This is the first team that can be trash and then go reverse trash, but still be trash. How you trash, but backwards? How you turning back the clock and becoming the same amount of trash, but in a different version of, of a version of a... I don't even know how to explain it. The Falcons used to be trash. And they had a certain way, an essence, you could say, to their trash assness. And then they moved on to this new version of the team, but they're still reverting to the old versions of their trash selves. So now we're throwing the ball on the goal line. Now we're making calls instead of running the ball when we have all of our timeouts. Everything is fine right now. Right now, everything is fine. And you throw. For what? For what? What? How, how could that make it? How could that have made any sense? Did, who thought of that? Why are Atlanta Falcons quarterbacks so terrified of calling audibles? When I'm playing Madden, and I don't want to throw Madden into, into a freaking a, 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 a video about real life football, but I have to. Because obviously, I know how to run a team better than anybody on the Falcons. When I see something, Say if I'm going for, say if I'm just, I'm running a, a basic slants play. Two receivers going this way, one receiver going that way, running back going that way. Two basic slants play. If I see that the defenders are in a dime formation on defense, so there's more corners on the, on the field, most likely I'm going to call an audible and switch my play. So I'm not having my receivers run into four different corners and safeties all pressed up at the line of scrimmage to make it harder for the quarterback to throw and the receivers to catch. I'm going to run the ball so there's not there's not that many linebackers up there, so I'm going to run the ball and I'll have more. I'll probably have a chance, a better chance of getting five or six yards or at least, yeah, at least five or six yards, hopefully a first down because there's not that many linebackers behind the linemen. I'm not saying that because I, I'm, I'm some um, ma ma magician football no, it's common sense if you understand how football works. This is this is my thing. Why do we keep acting like we have no idea how the game of football works? And I see something, oh, the Falcons, they fight hard. And then they call the most stupid call. You can fight hard. You can fight hard for as long as you want. But the moment you do something stupid, all of that fighting goes away. If I'm playing a perfect game of football and I decide to just randomly heave the ball in the sky, 
right when they need to catch it, right when we have to score, and I decided to just, well, I don't know, throw it off my head. All the good play that I just did, it goes away. Because you know why it doesn't matter? You know why? Because we just lost. This team doesn't understand the concept of winning, it seems. It's like they see winning right here and they just look the other way. It's every time. But every they find new ways to do it. And then, oh, and then, and then we run into the kicker. Run right into him. Just, just, just run right into him. No one cares. No one has any discipline. They just, just, run, just run right into him. Directly into him, right? Right. Why why do we have to deal with this? Why why is it why is it us? Why? I think every Falcons fan should get paid every single year. I think us as Falcons fans, all of us, if you have proof that you've been an Atlanta Falcons fan for more than uh three years. You deserve compensation. You know it's not as commercials that come on. If you or a loved one have ever been uh, diagnosed with mesothelioma, you might be entitled to compensation. We should get one of those infomercials, loud ass, quiet ass infomercials at 10 p.m. every night. If you are a Atlanta Falcons fan, you are eligible for compensation because they are bum asses. Call 1 800 DAMN. That's 1 800 DAMN. Like, for what? Why is it us? Why? 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. What are you doing? What is your purpose? How am I supposed to? Kyle Pitts, he's out for the year. Mariota is a bum. I've been I've been begging people to put in Ritter since like week three, and everyone keeps telling me no. Mariota's gonna do this. Mariota's gonna do that. Mariota can run. Mariota can do this. But in that that all can be true. But in the same sense, why aren't we giving the young guy a shot? I'm not saying he's gonna walk in there and be the best ever, but please, because now. You have a coach that doesn't know how to call, a quarterback that doesn't know how to audible. Both of those things going together means we suck forever. We just got the new coach. Did Dan Quinn call him from Dallas and say, hey, call this? And I said, okay. And then call it? He told tell Mariota, okay. And then Mariota throws the ball? One of the one of the freaking commanders said, "Hey, you Falcon, run into our kicker." He went, "Okay," and they hit, run into him. Why? I want compensation from the Atlanta Falcons every single year. Have you or a loved one supported the bumass Falcons? If so. You are eligible for compensation. Four words. Compensation. We get that. Us. Us. Because this is ridiculous. We have to be. No one else gets. No, this doesn't happen to anyone else on a consistent basis. That's why when a, when a team blows a lead, they say, what they falconed and the falcons in originated falconing that's why it's called falconing we're that we we are the we are the world we, we
We are the Falcons. We are the trash. That's what we are. Us. Utterly disgusted. Revolted. Pertubed. Angry. We are the trash. We are the Falcons. We are the ones who like to blow our lead every damn year. There's a choice that we have to watch this bum ass team. We're gonna cry every day, just you and me. We are the trash. Sing it. We are the Falcons. We are the ones who like to watch our team blow our fucking lead. There's a choice that we have to watch this bum ass team. We are going to cry all day, just you and me. safe drink water if you guys like this video like the video subscribe if you're new subscribe if you have not already comment down below what can i be able to do next man stay safe drink water i love you guys go falcons and i'll see you in the next video man